good morning. Happy Thursday. Yay. Back on my way to school. You know those gardens on the, on the left there? There seem to be as many of them as there were last year. Kind of a nice idea though. Somebody uh, allows that land for private gardens. It's uh, privately owned property for water on it. It's kind of cool. Nice when people do that. There's still nice people in the world. I pulled down my helmet visor and it looks like uh, I got hit in the face by tar balls last night. I know it's just uh, from the rainstorm. I didn't get a chance to clean it up. But One nice thing about a scooter is all I have to do is switch the throttle and off I go. Don't no mess with a transmission. Now I've ridden bigger bikes. I have nothing against them. I just like this better. I had a, um, I owned a 1983 Honda Sabre 750. Great bike, wonderful. Torque. Very smooth because it had a shaft drive. It was a fantastic motorcycle. Uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> over the years I've developed a pinched nerve in my back and can't get my leg over motorcycles the way I used to. And I was trying to get on and off the thing. Had a few close calls, but nearly dropping it just because I couldn't get myself off the bike. I figured it was time to just let it go. Now, if I could find a short enough motorbike that's not a cruiser, no offense to people who like cruisers, but I do not like them. I feel like I'm gonna fall off the back of the thing, pushed by the wind. Now granted, yeah, you can get a windscreen for them, just like for anything else. As you can see, I have a windscreen. Windscreens are great. They they do what is needed as far as reducing the amount of wind on the rider. And different people like different amount of wind reduced. Personally, I like a little bit on my face and on my shoulders. I just don't like like it blasting me in the middle of the chest. Motorcycle guy, way to him. Cement uh, truck. You better see me. I don't have my horn. I 
take them other places too. I don't just meet with mine. But my last fill-up, according to Fuley, on my last fill-up, there goes my camera again. <laughs> the world is turning! Anyway, sorry. On my last fill-up, according to Fuley, I got 103.2 miles on that last uh, per gallon on that last fill up, which is great. Uh, look at that guy, he says, Oh, yeah, now my nose is up in the air. Hello, hello, puppies. And that was got a wave there. Why is there a school bus out this time of day on a, on a July day? It is July 13th. No school buses. I'm about to bop around down through Columbia. I don't go the highway on my PCX anymore. If I can avoid it. I did. It'll do 65. And once you hit 65, it'll bounce off the rev limiter. But, which is a really funny sound coming out of the tailpipe, to be honest. Uh, cruising with a couple of guys yesterday and they were bopping along as well down the road they, they had bigger bikes one of the guys has a, an older Honda 9 something uh, Honda Superhawk and the other kid has a I think it's a Z06 Kawasaki. One of those, a ZR6 possibly. There's a whole bunch of them. Anyway, um, but his Kawasaki is a nice little bike. Both of them were buzzing around me and being a little squittish. But they're kids, I kind of expect that. One thing I've noticed about a lot of the folks who do the photo vlogging and stuff is they do all sorts of crazy stunts and stuff and then they get all confused when people get mad at them. Again, I, it's one of the reasons I kind of like Walter Ithick. He doesn't really, that's not what he does. But he keeps his language pretty clean. Cool guy. Let's do wheelies in the middle of... Uh, populated areas on public streets and if somebody yells at us, oh we've been wrong. Sure, somebody road raging and acting goofy and being a bit of a dipstick. Yeah, I'm not really lane splitting because I'm just making a right turn with nobody else is. like an idiot, somebody's probably going to yell at you. You act like a jerk, somebody's probably going to shoot you. Okay, maybe not. So let, let's be realistic about it. You know, there, there's so many of these, all of it, guilty pleasure, I've watched some of them, but the language gets to me, I, I'll admit I got a bit of Captain America going on. Corner. I love to run corners. Whee! Vroom, vroom. Anyway, so, you do something stupid, somebody gets mad at you. Why are you surprised? And don't act the martyr, because you're not. Now it's time. Behind his lower front teeth, and his foot is his lips. 
one time there was a moth. And her name was Millie. Millie the moth. Millie the moth was a woolly moth. And she had dreams of becoming a champion woolly moth. She lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. On a little way just outside the city.
about this particular stretch of road, there's deer on it. That was literally on the road. I just blew a stop sign, didn't I? No, no cops. Anyway, enough of that. Tomorrow, over the next day, I'll tell uh, another one of my dad's stories. That being read to me. That sister and brother to me read to them. Kind of incidental, but I think it was all about me. golden egg. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! No! I made it. I like this little jaunt through the woods. Just a little jaunt and then a cardinal. Hello cardinal. Don't know if you saw him flitting across the road. There's a word for your vocabulary. Flitting. It is the action of... Well, I have no idea because I don't have the dictionary in front of me to specifically give you a definition. But I know what it means in my head. It's what you see when you see a little bird going, Oh, holy goose, Batman! <laughs> yeah, they're honking back at me. None of them decided that I was a target. They didn't like that I was coming along going blah 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 blah. And honk, 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 honk. See, that's what you do. You just speak their language. I honked at them like they would honk at me, man. I just, I know that like honk honk means, hey, how you doing? Get out of the way. You got to be careful not to make it a honk honk because that means something completely different about their mother. So you, you really don't, you know. You really don't want to go there. Because, you know, geese, geese don't, don't like that. Because what's good for the goose. And I have arrived at my destination. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the, 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 the fasten the seatbelt sign. You are free to roll about the cabin. Turn your seats to the upright position and your tray tables to their places. <laughs> 